Hey everybody, Pat Logue here with the Anchor Group. I have a very special first time home buyer who has some questions. This is my daughter, Maddie. Hi everyone. And she would like to buy a house. So let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, I'm 25 years old and I'm looking to buy a house in the future and I just wanna know what I need to do to prepare accordingly. Okay, well the first thing you need is you're gonna need some savings for a down payment. You can get down payments as little as 5%, up to 20% of a purchase price. So for example, let's say your first home was $400,000. Right. 5% would be $20,000. 20% would be $80,000, okay? Um, really the most important thing when you're starting the home buying process is to connect with a two professionals. And in your case, you're very lucky. You need a realtor, and I hope I can represent you, and you need a good mortgage professional. And since your mom, Kate Logue, is a great mortgage professional, you're ahead of the game. Absolutely. Um, so you're going to have to find out. We're going to have to ask some questions. Is it you and your boyfriend will be buying the house together? Yes. Okay, so we're going to have to find out your financials. How much do you have saved? And the mortgage professional, mom, is going to qualify you to find out how much you can afford. Right. And that's going to be based on a lot of things. Your money that you have saved, your income, and your credit score. So you both should monitor your credit score. We're not going to talk about that on this video, but you're going to want to check your credit score. And if your credit isn't where it needs to be, the time to start building the credit is now. And what should my credit score be? Oh, we're looking for something over 700 would be ideal. But uh, the better your credit score, the better your interest rate, which is going to lower your payments. Great. Okay. So we want to talk about what you have saved and then where do you want to be? You know, you're going to have to take a search area and say, this is what I like. I know you live uh, in the mainline area in Delaware County. You're probably going to stay there because of your boyfriend's employment. Um, that is the goal. Yes. That's the goal. Okay. So we're going to have to look at different things there in different price ranges. I'm sure you do it already. You can look at Zillow, Realtor.com, Facebook. I can set you up for a property search, but most importantly, really dial in on what you want you know where you buy your first home if you you know is going to you're going to develop some roots there so you don't want to do it just willy-nilly um what do you want in the first home how many bedrooms do you need uh how many bathrooms do you need what do you like to do uh i know you have a dog so is a fenced yard or the ability to fence a yard important to you definitely okay so what are some of the questions you have some questions I have are when I determine where I want to be, where do I go from there? Do I go right to my realtor to ask them the questions of looking for homes or do I put in an offer the minute I see something that I like? Well, the, the market is pretty hot right now. Uh, so there are, it's very competitive. So the most important thing is to be pre-qualified. You get that from your lender, also known as your mom. So you would have a pre-qualification letter that says Maddie and Cameron are qualified up to this mm -hmm. and that is going to make you the, the strongest buyer. Then we're going to have to look at, you know, what type of things you want. You know, do you want something that's turnkey or do you want a fixer upper or something in between? Are you not opposed to painting? Um, what do you recommend for someone in our age group for a first time home? It really depends on what level of time, skill, and appetite you have for it. Uh, there's a lot of what is called sweat equity, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, the homes you grew up in, most of them needed paint when we bought them. So right. we did that work ourselves and we established equity in the home. Um, it's also, you want to dial into where you want to be, you know, how, and don't be so specific, be a little bit flexible. You want to look at the community, what's nearby. The school district. The school district, if you plan on staying there and starting a family at some point. The important thing is start the process before you just decide, I want to buy a house. Right. So you want, you want to sit down, be very transparent with your lender. It's going to be a little harder with your mother, but be very <laughs> transparent. What you have, what you have coming in, what you have going out, what, um, you know, what commitments do you have, car payments. See, and I know you're already paying uh, rent, so you're developing a credit history. Yes. 
the thing about buying a home is you do realize you're paying a mortgage now, correct? Yes. Whose mortgage are you paying? My own. No, you're paying your landlord's mortgage. Oh, right, right now. Right, yes. yeah, right. So eventually you're either paying a mortgage of somebody else or yourself. When you pay your own mortgage, you develop equity in a home. And equity in a home is what you owe on it, what it's worth. So let's say you have a home that is worth $600,000 and you took a $300,000 loan, you have a $300,000 in equity. Most Americans, believe it or not, most of their savings in their life are in the equity in their home. Wow, I didn't know and, that. Yes, and it, and it helps them through retirement. That's why you hear of people downsizing. So they take their bigger home that they raised their family in and maybe they downsize and they have two homes, one, one in the area where their family is and maybe one in Florida for the winter. Um, but starting right away and get the information, know where you stand. You can't just wake up and say, I want to buy a home. You find out, oh, our credit score isn't what it needs to be. Oh, we don't have enough saved. So I would say, let's get that lender and we're going to talk to her and she's going to help pre-qualify it, develop a search, go look at properties. And we're never looking for a hundred percent. You know, if you have, if you have seven items that you must have, we're looking to get to 80 to 85% in a home. You're probably not going to find the home at the price you want, the location you want, with the, with the home of your dreams, with the amenities you want. You know, it might be, well, in a year or two, we're going to have to renovate the kitchen, but we can live with this for now. Right. Okay. Seems like we have a lot of work to do, so. Yep, let's get started. I'll get back to you in a few years about that. <laughs> no, we're going to get started right away. Thank you. And of course, having somebody you can trust is important. And, and I would hope mom and dad are someone you can trust. But for Absolutely. those out there, find a trusted partner. Usually your realtor will recommend a good lender. If you have a relationship with a lender, reach out to them.